We're back with another Currently. I'm Emma Lozano Dugan with a selection of news from the smart cities industry. Let's start. Slovakia-based green tech scale-up Sensoneo has successfully raised 6.2 million euros in a Series A funding round, with Taiwanese Capital leading the investment. Existing investors, including Crowdberry, EIC Fund and Venture to Future Fund, also participated in the round. The fresh funds will help to drive Sensoneo's expansion into new regions and solidify its position in the global market. Sensoneo has also revealed its intentions to establish a branch in Taiwan later this year, aiming to bring its smart waste management solutions to Asian countries. In energy, the European Commission has adopted new rules on access to energy smart metering and consumption data, aiming to establish interoperability requirements and transparent procedures. The rules set a common reference model for EU countries, enabling easy access to metering data for consumers and allowing them to decide whether they grant permission for data usage by third parties for their benefit. The objective is to ensure consumer protection while empowering them as active participants in the energy transition. The rules aim to facilitate business operations, improve processes and incentivize the development of new energy services. Latvian distribution system operator Sedalis Tickles AS has completed the rollout of smart meters to 1.1 million metering points across the country, with almost all of its 790,000 customers now equipped with smart meters. The company has achieved a significant milestone in digitizing the electricity sector. The majority of the smart meters are based on power line communications supplied by Sanxing, and around 20% use point-to-point -point technology supplied by Ilgama and Hexing. Sedalis claims to have also implemented other initiatives to enhance grid management, operational efficiency and customer service, resulting in estimated annual savings of 40 million euros. Texas-based Rochester Sensors, a designer and manufacturer of liquid-level sensors and meters, has announced its acquisition of Tekelec Europe Limited, which provides monitoring and measuring electronic control systems for tank, heating, ventilation and air conditioning monitoring. Tekelec also offers cellular and LoRa products for remote monitoring used by refined fuel delivery logistics software providers. By incorporating Tekelec's wireless sensor technologies and software platforms, Rochester aims to enhance delivery and logistics efficiencies. The financial details of the deal were not disclosed. Still in the US, San Diego City Council has given its approval for the installation of over 50 interactive kiosks throughout the city. The kiosks provided by Ike Smart City will serve as free Wi-Fi hotspots in a radius of about 23 meters and offer location-based information on nearby attractions. Additionally, the kiosks will be fitted with an emergency button and provide access to social services information, including homeless shelters and food banks. While while this initiative is anticipated to generate substantial revenue for the city, with around $15 million expected from advertising and commissioned art, some critics have expressed concerns as they argue that the kiosks might become an eyesore on sidewalks. Delaware has received a $358,000 grant from the Environmental Protection Agency to support air quality initiatives. The funding will go towards the Community Housing and Empowerment Connections Air Monitoring Network in Newcastle County, which has the worst air quality in the state. The network of low-cost air sensors aims to provide real-time data on particular matter levels. These sensors are solar-powered, use cloud data for continuous monitoring, and should be resilient to climate change and capable of operating during extreme weather conditions and power outages. The initiative aims to help the community and state agencies make informed decisions to protect public health. And that's it for now, but make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our videos. We'll be back next week with some more Currently.